Oh, hey everybody. So it's like, I don't know, 5.30 on a Sunday. So decided I'd walk along the, the older railroad tracks that ain't being used to head up to where I usually walk because the buses don't run today. And I was gonna take the public trail, but I really don't feel like walking up that hill. It's not even a matter of I can't. It's it's a matter of I just really don't want to. You know, I was thinking, I wonder why like walking talks like this ain't more popular. But I guess I guess it's just a matter of nobody really cares. <laughs> You know, like, something like this would be specific to, like, a family or something, because it's more of a progress update or, a, you know, a on vacation, here's what I've been doing kind of videos, I guess, except I'm not on vacation, and it ain't for my family. <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. I mean, I think it'd be mildly entertaining. I mean, I personally don't watch anybody that just, like, talks. Like, I listen to a lot of podcasts, and that's basically what I do. Except they tell, like, stories. Some good and some less good. But, I mean... I always thought it'd be of a... I guess it would be a type of like ASMR or like if I was rich or something I'm sure I'd have a bigger fan base or or if I had like or if I was a chick and had nice jugs I'd have a I'd probably have more people watching me just walk around and talking but you know <laughs> it's it's all good maybe I'll uh maybe I'll find me a a good-looking girlfriend to walk with me have, <laughs> get some get my views up <laughs> god that's bad it's real bad that that's like that that would probably actually work just uh have a good-looking chick in the background in a swimsuit of of half my videos and my my subscribers will double overnight Ah, uh, probably not. I mean, now, you can pretty much look up anything you want on the internet. So, you'd still have to have decent content to go with it. So, you know. I, I Actually, I don't know. Ignore all that. Strike that from the record, please. Uh, so I made, uh... I made, a uh, Kind of homemade fettuccino... Feta... Feta... Fettuccine Alfredo today. I didn't kill the chicken myself. I didn't make my own noodles and I didn't make my own sauce. Technically. But I still made chicken fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, I got a uh, sliced chicken breasts long ways, about a quarter, about a quarter of an inch thick in the nice slabs. Had them frying in butter. Well, I boiled the noodles. I mixed white country gravy, four cheese Alfredo sauce, and a pack of uh, white country gravy. And I put it over top of the chicken. Then when the noodles were just, just slightly past like the al dente mark, like ever so slightly, I went and uh, put them in the pan with the chicken and the sauce, and I let that simmer for about five to ten minutes, get some of the moisture out, and, uh, it turned out pretty good. I mean, I was slightly disappointed in the chicken, because I tried to do, like, an entire pan's worth, and I wanted to kind of, like, brown it with the butter, and considering that there was so much chicken, it kind of, like, like, as the, the chicken juices leached out into the sauce it kind of broiled the chicken or broiled boiled more than more than braised 
Is that the correct term? Uh, long story short, the chicken turned out ever so slightly tougher than I wanted it to be. And it didn't really fry. It was more of a... It was more of a boil when it came right down to it. Um, could it have been avoided? Yeah, I mean, if I would have took my time and actually fried, like, a skillet of chicken and then made, instead of putting it all in at the same time, I could have browned. I keep checking to make sure there ain't a train coming, even though these tracks haven't been used in a million years. Not. Uh, yeah, if I would have, if I would have did like a third of the chicken and cooked it three times, you know what, I'll be back. Alright, I just walked past the area where there could be people uh, after the train left. So now let's continue. So I could have, uh, I could have cooked the chicken in like three batches. And it would have gave it that golden little crisp and a little bit drier, more tender texture. But I did not. Uh, partially, partially because I was in, well, it pretty much boils down to I wanted to get it done and get back in my room. <laughs> pretty much what it boils down to. Uh, it was still very good. Like, it was still very, very good. It's just... I'm, I'm my worst critic, you know. That chicken could have... I mean, that, that Alfredo could have passed for a decent restaurant meal. I wouldn't say no high-end five-star kind of place, but... I'd say an easy three to four stars. And I did it in a kitchen with minimal tools. So I'm not too... I'm not too upset about it, you know. It turned out pretty good. I'll have, I'll have some tonight for a snack. I don't know if she ate any or not. Uh, she didn't say anything. I don't care if she did or not. I think I think she's jealous that she's like 80 years old and she had all those she has all those years of being a being a wife, you know, being a housemaker, is that what they call them? Housewife, housemaker. And then I can still cook better than her. And I have no official training whatsoever. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Who knows? Who cares? I would love to say all my food I cook turns out to be amazing, but I'd be lying. I had a few experiments that could have passed for science experiments. But most of the time, most of the time, I, 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 it turns out pretty good when I cook. Well, let's put it this way. If you had a lineup of people, if you had a lineup of people that you had to choose somebody to cook for you, I wouldn't be a bad bet. Because nine chances out of ten, I get it right. <laughs> so, so as long as you weren't that one chance, it'll, uh, it'll be all right. So, so yeah. Uh, this is kind of new. I don't think this was like this last time I was here. Have that powered pretty high. A big enough rainstorm, my landslide that it's real steep. Oh, uh, what do I know? I think half the times they just do things to have an excuse of where the taxpayer money goes, or whatever this place is. Excuse me, I burped. So I'm contemplating what I want to do. Once again, I didn't really have a goal for this. Not really. I'm uh, I'm walking through the trail I usually take, but I'm doing it backwards. I may, depending on how I feel, before I go up the first big hill, I'm gonna decide if I wanna stop to get a couple beer or not. I don't think so. Like I said, I'm, uh, I I'm looking towards getting probably about 30 or 40 bucks for some scrapping I've been doing. But I don't have it yet. So buying beer would be a irresponsible choice. So I'll probably flip a coin when the time comes. Plus I don't even know why I want to drink. 
to be honest. I mean, yeah, it relieves a bit of stress. It makes me a bit more bubbly and a bit more carefree. But then I feel like crap the next day, and I really didn't get anything out of it except a lighter wallet. A lighter wallet and a headache. So, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll flip a coin. It, it's like I said before. If I quit drinking, that's like another part of me gone. But at the same time, I feel like I have to drink because, because it's one of the only things I do. I can't hike forever, you know? I gotta stop eventually. And completely honest here, complete truth time here, I'm not a big, not a big fan of gaming. I just kind of do it because there's nothing better to do. I kind of do it because I have to, I have to stop moving eventually. I can't, I can't just go forever. Like, I have to quit sometime and it's just something to do. I did, I did do a video on the, uh, on the Pokey Paradise server. Don't want any uh, spoilers, but it'll be going up this upcoming Saturday. And I don't know if I'm going to have a video for the following Saturday. But I'm taking a bit of a break for the PS1 games. And the, not this Saturday, but the next Saturday is the yard sale I'm doing. So, not entirely sure if I'll have a video. I mean, I don't really see why not. But it kind of, kind of depends on well, what I come up with. Like, if I can find a game I want to play or... If I want to do another Pokey Paradise thing, would really depend on another player. Because, uh, to be real with you, like, that game kind of infuriates me. Like, on so many levels, in so many ways. I was joking with one of the players. Well, it wasn't a joke. I was dead serious. I was talking to the player moderator I talked to. And I was like, I said something to the effect of, like, try-hard players, you know, ruin the game for casual players, and then they blame casual players for the game being the way it is. Pokemon was made, I, this is my belief, I don't have any documentation on this, but Pokemon was made so people would build a team of their favorites, challenge gym leaders, you know, challenge other players. I don't think Pokemon was made... For people to mathematically figure out every single point of damage they're going to do in every single turn on exactly who they're going to outspeed and have to use certain Pokemon every time or else. I don't think... <clears throat> Copper wire. I don't, I don't think the person that made the game decided or wanted the game to be like that. I think once the game took off and the creator started rolling in the cash... They started making decisions like that, like Dynamax, introducing things like Dynamax to the game so that players that don't have it have to spend more money to get it so they can keep up with the players that do have it. Or the players that don't have it have to more, more finely tune their teams to keep up with the players that do have it. That's, that's my honest opinion. And that... Money is what ruins the game. Over-competitiveness ruins the game. People that, people that sit down and figure out the damage they're going to deal down to the, down to the 0.1%, that ruins the game. Like, that's just how it is. It's one thing to want to win, but you got to realize at some point what you're doing to other people. It doesn't bother me all that much, because I know what it is going into it. I'm not, I'm kind of, you know, I'm old enough to know how these things work. But, there are children that play that game. There are children that want a legendary spawn. There are children that want to win a battle. And it's just, you know, when you have 80% of the player base having competitive championship teams, kind of kind of puts a damper on that you know uh, what do I know 
I mean, I know a lot, but what good does it do me? <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I'm going to... I'm getting up to the point where I'm going to head on to the trail I like to go. I'm not sure if those kids are going to be chilling out there. So I think I'm going to take the... I think I'm going to stop the camera. And, uh... Make sure I get through unscathed. And then, uh... We'll pick up whenever I decide what I'm going to do next. Because I need... I need to do some thinking. And I need to do some drinking. Uh, hydration, not alcohol. Because I am getting parched. Okay. So I can almost guarantee the camera doesn't pick this up. But this whole hillside is like covered in spider webs like just like it, it, it makes me think of like a bunch of like ninjas or fbi agents or whatever um rappelling down a building that's kind of what it looks like except there's no ninjas or spiders it's just the webs left behind I, I know you couldn't see it on the camera but you can take my word for it I'm not getting beer. I don't really want to drink. I don't really have much of a reason to drink. Like, by the time I get back, I was I was thinking I'd get I was thinking I'd drink like two or three out in the woods, and then go back and weed whack, and then drink like another two and th two or three, and then call it a night. But it's probably like 6:30, give or take. By the time I get back to the house, considering that I'm not even at the furthest point yet, it's going to be like 7.30, 8 o'clock. So, I'm not going to be able to weed whack. It takes a lot of time only having one battery, because i got to charge it. So I can use like the extension cord in the back for a lot of like the walkway and the hillside. But when the extension cord runs out, i got to use the battery, and I usually have to go and do as much as I can and then do it with the extension cord while I charge the, uh, the battery and then do it again as much as I can and then charge the battery and put it away and it usually takes two to three hours and that's mostly <laughs> the majority of the time well, at least half the time is just me waiting for it to charge. So, so I'm probably not doing that. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Or not. Alright. I thought the spider webs were kind of cool. Alright, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys whenever I get, like, I don't know. If I find anything cool or something. I got a... I got an okay picture, but <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> that was about it for the journey. You got a bit of a, a bit of an ouchie. It's, uh, freaking, uh, rosebush attacked me. I think it had rabies. Came out of nowhere. Now, now to be, to be for real here, like, okay, so I kind of just went off path a little bit. I didn't even really feel it happening. And then I stopped and looked down and I saw, like, blood and I was like, oh, wow, that's not good. So, can you show blood on YouTube? I guess it's not, like, a lot of blood. I mean, it's not like I'm disemboweled or something. I don't know. I did decide that I'm definitely not getting beer. And I did decide that I'm not even going up over that hill. I'm not ready to go back yet. But, I don't want to go all the way up either. And I'll go back across the bridge, down the way I came, I think. Maybe I'll take the public trail. I don't know. I kind of avoided it on the way up. Because I kind of didn't feel like running into anybody. But... I mean, there's like, what, five people that hike besides me? probably be all right all right guys that's gonna be it for the for the lengthy monologue I don't think anything 
impressive is going to happen. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to call this the end of the episode. I mean, this should be like 20 or 30 minutes, I'd, I'd assume. There's not much to really talk about. Not a lot's really happened. I'm kind of stalling off anything ginormous for uh, because I have that yard sale thing coming up, and that's going to be. I'm sure that's going to be a draining event. But, I mean, the prices I'm throwing on stuff, I should make a good amount of money. Because everything should sell. Or, most of it should sell. But we'll see. Got like a, a toaster oven that works, five bucks. Uh, uh, a microwave that works, five bucks. There was something else too. Oh, uh, a hedge trimmer thing that you plug in. It works. It's five bucks. A new, or an, uh, an old school jigsaw. I'm throwing it for five bucks. And I can prove, I'm going to plug in an extension cord so I can prove it all works. Other than it needing a little bit of a shine, it's, uh, it should be, it should, it should go. And if it doesn't sell, I already decided I'm ripping it apart. So... So it's a win-win for me. I mean, if it sells, it's going to make a decent amount of money. If it doesn't sell, I'll have something to keep me busy for an hour, and it'll make me much less money. Like, instead of $30 for, for everything, I'll get like 5 bucks for everything. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I like microwaves. Microwaves are fun to take apart. They have a big... Uh, big resistor thingy, uh, capacitor, I can't remember what they're called, but if they, if they don't have aluminum windings, and they have copper windings, it's like, I think it's almost a pound by itself, so, microwaves are always fun, I'm doing uh, the yard sale Saturday and Sunday, because I kind of want to walk around Friday, and see if there's anything cool, because I figured Friday would probably be the best time, because there'll be a lot of stuff out, and it'll be the first day. So Saturday would probably be a really good time to go, because everyone will be having it. But I want to do my own, so, you know, that's going to be... It's just not smart for me to go to yard sales on Saturday. So I'm going to go on Friday, see if I see anything worth seeing. And then I'm going to actually hold my yard sale Saturday and Sunday. Which I figure is better, because, yeah, there might be a lot of people on Friday. And there might be a lot of people that are just going to be there on Friday. But I feel like there's going to be a lot on Saturday for people that have the days off. And a lot on Sunday for people that are already going to be out in the morning going to church and whatnot. So, unless, of course, they dress in, like, one of those fancy three-piece suits to go into a building and, and have somebody yell at them. <laughs> For an hour. I wouldn't want to be out in yard selling if I was wearing a three-piece suit in the middle of June. But, you know, people are nuts. So, who knows? Not a lot of the older generation do the church thing. So, I'm sure a lot, and a lot of the older generation do yard sale things. So, I'm pretty sure Sunday would be a good, a good event. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through with it or not. But, I have this big styrofoam container. And I was thinking about putting, like, soda and water in it and trying to sell it for, like, 50 cents or something. Something that I clearly make money, but not being a jerk about it. I think, like, generic soda is, like, 4 bucks for, like, 12 of them. So it's, like, a quarter a can. So I sell it for 50 cents. I make double my money, and they get a cheap can of soda because, you know, there's not many places you can get a can of soda for 50 cents. And the same for the water. We get the 30 pack for like, can't be like 15 bucks or something. Well, probably less. No, it's a lot less than that. You get a 30 pack for like four or five bucks, maybe six. I don't know. Point is, it's way less than 50 cents. So if I sold water for 50 cents a bottle, I'd be making about a quarter a bottle. So, you know, it's an idea. And with the only store in my entire town being Dollar General, it's probably a good one. 
seeing that I'm the only one going to be there, I'm not doing like a cookout or anything. Like some people do like hot dogs and junk during the during the community yard sale, but I'm I'm a one man army and you know man in the grill and the cash register by myself is is a bit of a job to ask of anybody. So just gonna do just gonna stick to my limitations. I haven't really thought about what's gonna happen if I have to pee. Or you know, any other bodily functions. I don't know if she'll even come out. Like, I, I really don't. I, I mean, she's getting money for it, so hopefully if I have to use the restroom, she'll pop out for a couple of minutes, but... Never know. Never know with her. You know, it's a typical scenario. Why do anything if you're just going to have stuff handed to you? And I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sticking with this whole, you know, she's like 80 years old, I should feel bad and stuff. But she could at least try, you know. Uh, I don't know, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. Alright, okay, I just talked for an extra 10 minutes. Well, probably not, it's probably been like 3 minutes, but I just talked longer than I planned to. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you eventually.